Although New York gets millions of visitors every single year, you're never going to hear a single tourist say, hey, I think I want to visit the city to get all the cheap eats. But I came here from across the country to challenge that statement. Oh, wait, but I'm not a local. Hey, wait, you're a local. I am, yeah. OK, guys, we have here John from Curie Bar. He is a New York City local YouTuber, and he is just a genius when it comes to all these cheap eats. My goal today is to show Norma my viewers' favorite cheap eats. These are the ones I always get emails and I get tagged on Instagram from. You're going to love it. Now, the reason that I brought him here with me today is because I don't ever remember, but last year, he came to Las Vegas, and I took him to a whole bunch of cheap eats. So we kind of did a collab last year. So I guess it's my turn now. It is my turn, yeah, to pay back the favor. I'm excited for this. This is actually the longest line I've ever seen here before. And it's his fault why this place is so, like, has a New York. I think the fact that this is a block from Times Square and is as good as it is is a miracle because Times Square is basically known as like a food wasteland. It's a lot of tourist traps. This spot is worth coming to Times Square for. I tell everybody that. It's funny because technically this is like the Tacos of Gordo of New York. That's a really good comparison. There's four of these in New York City right now. It's a great comparison. I really do love this place. It reminds me of Mexico City, like a, a hipster taqueria in Mexico City. This is like the most New York style taco experience ever. It's like snap, snap, snap. I like it already. It's like so hot. Okay, so I have one thing to criticize though. When I went up, the guy asked me, do you want corn or flour tortillas? Is that even a question? Never get flour. I know. Never get flour tortillas. It's always corn. I feel like flour is more for like quesadillas, burritos. Yeah. Always get corn for a taco. So we ended up getting the adobada taco here. This is going to have pork, pineapple, cilantro. Um, I asked for no onions on mine, but his has onions. I did con todo, yeah. And it has kind of like a, a green salsa on top of it. Cheers. Cheers. My favorite part is the tortilla already. Handmade in New York City, finding tortillas this good at a taco spot, it's really tough. The meat's not bad either though. I think the autobada, like the Alpha store, excellent. Now for this one taco, it's like what, $4.85? So for a taco, it is a little bit expensive, but you do have to factor in that we're in the middle of Times Square yeah. right now, and it's New York. However though, this is a bigger taco than usual. Like Mexican tacos are actually pretty small, but it's probably like, almost twice the size of a regular size. And I'll tell you, they're not the only place in New York City charging four or five bucks for a taco. That's really common here. All the people in line right now are just giving us the stink eye. We're eating. <laughs> that we have what they want. All right, Ben needs to get a taco. Don't forget we got Benny Bear, the cameraman here. So he's gonna go ahead and try this taco. This always hits. It's just, granted it's not even 2 a.m. and I'm out drunk, but it's still good. That was a good starter taco. That was a good start to the day in general. Where are we going next, John? We are going to what I consider best hidden gem in Times Square. Oh my god, there's a Raising Cane's here. <laughs> I've never even heard of that. What? What is it? Are you serious? I'm serious. It's like the best chicken tenders ever. You want to stop for a Ooh. picture? No, thank you. You got 20 bucks? <laughs> no, thank you. What is that? <laughs> we have these same characters in Vegas. Yeah, there's okay. a lot of similarities, I know. You know what's really funny is that people say that, oh, New York locals hate Times Square, and I've heard that, I get it. Yeah. But you know what, like, I don't know, I don't hate it. This is what the strip looks like, just times 10. All right, I'll give you a hint. I can see the spot from here. First step is to go to the lobby. Nice to see you. I'm glad I'm back. You too. This is Norma. Hi, Hi Norma. Oh, wow. It honestly boggles my mind how this place is not super busy all the time. This is like the New York, New York casino multiplied by a thousand. I can't stay. Even though we are doing the Cheap Eats video, um, we are here because, well, I mean, first of all, you have an amazing view. Um, and you can just come up here and get a drink. I mean, as low as $9, of course, is going to be beer. So we're going to go ahead and cheat a little bit, and we're going to show off some cocktails. 
So they went ahead and they rolled out the red carpet for us. Uh, they gave us some of the most beautiful cocktails here. I'm especially excited here for this first one. So this first one's gonna be the radiation. It's gonna be uh, just like an aviation, but it's gonna have Bacardi and then creme de violette. And it's got some nice little cherries inside. Oh, that's yummy. Oh, mm. thank you. That tastes like the color purple. The color purple had a taste, let's see. It does taste like the color purple. Good, like summery drink. It's kind of like limey. I think there's yeah, definitely yeah. lime in there. Yeah, I think this one would be the perfect one to order if you just want to come out here and get a few like pictures. Yeah. yeah. It'd be pretty cool. We're gonna go ahead and do their next one. This is gonna be their tequila based drink. Mmm. This one's very summery too. Let me try Ooh, it. yum. Rockaway Riviera, named after Rockaway Beach Queens. Super sweet, savory, very summery. Oh yeah. yeah. They said it's watermelon. Okay. That's what it was. This would be my choice on a hot day. I can already tell you. All right, and then this one's gonna be their cherry street. This almost already looks like a like a cherry coke. Oh, it tastes just like a cherry coke actually, but alcoholic. <laughs> a lot of times at rooftop bars in New York City, you're paying for the view. This is eighteen dollars. I've been to rooftop bars recently. Twenty bucks. Those drinks are watered down. Not very good. They actually know how to make a cocktail up here, and I'm not just saying that because we're standing here right now. I said it before. They make really good cocktails. If that's your thing. Can you see the New Year's Eve ball right oh there my god. over 2022? Oh my god, it would be such an amazing view here for New Year's. This could be a standalone rooftop, even if the other side didn't exist, right? Yeah, this is like fun. Yeah. yeah it's fun. I mean, look, you could spend a lot of money to go to an observation deck, and I won't stop you from that, but if you're in Midtown anyway, and you want to come up here real quick for a drink and an epic view, I think it's totally worth it. And forget a beer, you don't have to get a beer, just a few more bucks, you got an awesome cocktail. Yeah, it's worth a few more bucks, I agree. The same, since I drove here, the way. I remember the way you wrote letters in blue ink. You and me was in love. Right. How you feeling after that drink? I'm ready for pizza. Ready for pizza, me too. I got just the spot. For this next spot that we're going to right here, this is a pizza spot that has come out on his channel and it's famous basically because of, of him right here. Give me way too much credit, but this is my favorite pizza spot on earth, Bleecker Street Pizza. Love this spot, love the smell. It smells like crust. Yeah, you just walked in, how are you? Fantastic. Yeah. So, um, they, they let me have a Peroni. I mean, because you know, pizza and beer. Hey. Here. Feel, you feeling the love here? You feeling the love? Yeah! So we are trying here uh, one of the most popular slices and this is definitely like the reason why people come into this restaurant because of John's video and because of the pizza. So it's gonna be the Nona Maria. I mean, I just know it's a lot of cheese and a lot of sauce. It's, uh, it's fresh marinara, fresh mozzarella, and Parmigiano Reggiano cheese imported from Italy. Very expensive. They they don't spare any expense for this slice, trust me. Mm. Mm. Saucy. I think that's the word, saucy. Mm. I think the, the fresh marinara is like what jumps out at everybody. I like it because it's a lot of textures here. Like I mean you have chunky tomatoes, you have like balls of cheese yeah. all over this pizza. It's so good. There's a lot going on in this slice. I know that pizzas are really expensive on the strip. For four dollars a slice, would this be a hit in the Vegas strip? Oh my god, this on the strip, eight dollars. Eight bucks a slice? So this is what four bucks here? Yeah. Did it live up to the hype? I've hyped this up for years. It did. Actually. It did. Yeah. Okay, I'm happy. It's very welcoming for sure, and all the owners, all the employees are super nice. Oh, they're ha they're just happy to come chat with you, ask you where you're from. Very tourist friendly, and we're in the heart of the West Village here, one of Manhattan's most beautiful neighborhoods. You gonna be like action kid? You, lie to me. you got 10 seconds before they you strike lie you. To me, but you do. You lie to me. <laughs> Are you ready to walk down a lot of stairs here in New York? The smells of New York City. Mm. Gotta love them. It smells like humid and like rat.
so we haven't even gone inside just yet. We're just looking at the menu out here by the window. And oh my God, everything is like three to five dollars. Chinatown, Manhattan is like the cheapest place to eat in the city. And they have like so many options and they all look like good servings. Shuzhou Fuzhou cuisine. It's a little hole in the wall, I like it. It has like a very industrial look to it. Like it's, they definitely did not spend one second on decor in here. But it's kind of like, yeah, if you're gonna be charging these prices, they gotta save somewhere. Yeah. Like you can't be spending on like decor and have cheap, good food. Okay, get the pork and chive dumplings. The thick rice noodle with peanut butter sauce. Exactly six dollars. She's exactly six bucks. Cash only. Six dollar feast. This almost looks like pasta. It does actually look like spaghetti. You've got to mix the noodles together to get that peanut flavoring. It's just going to be too plain. Can you get something like this in Vegas, Chinatown, or anywhere in no. Vegas for six bucks? These two are six bucks. That was three dollars. There is no such thing as three dollars in our Vegas Chinatown. Pork and chive is the classic New York Chinatown order. Like this is the, probably the most popular thing you can get. Oh, these are big. They are. It's so delicious. It's not bad at all. Mm. That's good. It's like a little spicy, but I guess yeah. it's probably cut from the sauce. Definitely. Yeah, like the dumpling skin right here is like, it's so perfect. And then like the inside, it has like great amount of meat, great amount of vegetables inside. And it's just like, I think it's the sauce for sure that makes it and puts it all together. You also have to think how many hundreds of these they make every hour. They sell like hotcakes. How many pieces did it come with? Six? Six. I would expect to pay like minimum $9 for this, but $3? That's insane. You would pay nine bucks in different parts of the mm -hmm. city, just not in Chinatown. This would be really interesting for someone visiting New York, I think, to see that you can get these kind of deals. This much food for six bucks. I'll what take is less this? of it. It's uh, wheat noodles with peanut sauce. Those are like the most interesting noodles I've ever had. Like, they almost like bounce back the moment you like bite into them. Yeah. Yeah, and there's almost like a very light peanut sauce as well. That was good. These are actually like really good. I actually kind of like them better than these. Like I like these at first, but now like I'm eating them more. I kind of like this way better. This city for as expensive as it is to live, you could find some pretty good budget bites. Like be shocked. That is pretty crazy because yeah, like when you think of New York City, you're gonna think of expensive yeah. everything. Expensive yeah. food, expensive things to do. Um, but like to know that they still have like these like cheapy hidden gems, like oh, yeah. that's freaking awesome. Oh yeah. Oh my God, that was like so much food. I mean, it's like I'm satisfied, I'm not too full, but I think we did, I think we did good. I think we did damn good. I would say the three places we went today, if you're in New York for 24 hours and you wanted a cheap eats tour, I would send them to your video. I would send this link and say, have at it. Now don't forget, this is a two part collab, so this is gonna be on my video. By the time my video comes out, his will have already been out, so make sure you check the rest on it his channel because we're gonna go to a few more cheap eat spots. So as always guys, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends, and comment below. Tell me what are some of your favorite cheap eats here in New York. And if you haven't checked out John's channel, please make sure you check it out, look at his videos, even subscribe. Thank you so much for watching guys, and see you next time. Hi. I was just watching your videos. Oh, awesome man, thank you. I'm the Norma Helly of New York. Hey, yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not go that far. Camera, oh there you go. Hype is real, the hype is real. And how's my hair? Hey, nothing's sticking up, right? I will kill Ben if something's sticking up. Da da da. I meant to do that. This is what happens when you have cocktails at one in the afternoon. <laughs> that was a fail. <laughs> she's like, she's trying to drink it while we're. Loopers. Okay. See all the people on the big buses. Up oh, B. Is that B, sorry. Pretty sure this isn't real. No. Pretty sure this is like an ornament. It's a Florida Christmas tree. Yeah. How are you feeling after that drink? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm ready for pizza. Yeah. Do, ooh, ooh. Right. Return You're... of the John. She's Return living her best New York life here. You're bringing this Vegas to New York right now. I'm two drinks in. <laughs> da dun dun. <laughs> Oh. Norma, we've all been there, trust me. <laughs> all the tourists come in, they talk about really? every, every time I'm there, he's like, is it John? You're going to Bleecker Street Pizza? <laughs> You're welcome. Food. Yep, you got interrupted by uh, <laughs> pumpkins. <laughs>
We're gonna check out the newest cheap beats in New York City. <laughs> I fell. Ta da! Oh, shit. <laughs> and if you haven't checked out John's channel, please. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Remember, I used to do this. Whoosh. 